Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be covering the verb halten and its 30 prefixes. This will be a longer video, so strap in and enjoy. Also, los geht's! First and foremost, I want to introduce you to the common meaning of halten, a base verb of today's lecture that means to hold and can be used for holding something in your hands. Zum Beispiel, ich halte ein Seil und binde mein Boot an den Steg. I hold the rope and tie my boat to the dock. Or just like in English, it can be used to hold a presentation. Morgen hält er seinen Vortrag. He will be holding his presentation tomorrow. And finally, to hold something out, dann zeig es mir. Halte deine Arme ausgestreckt. Then show it to me. Hold out your arms. The first prefix we will cover is the inseparable B. Behalten means to keep and can be used as in the following. Behalt mal bitte die Uhr im Auge, damit wir die Zeit nicht vergessen. Please keep an eye on the clock so that we don't forget the time. Or it can also be used to keep somebody somewhere physically. Zum Beispiel, wir möchten sie über Nacht im Krankenhaus behalten. We would like to keep her at the hospital overnight. The last usage is to keep something in your possession. Ich werde mein Handy behalten, anstatt ein neues zu kaufen. I will keep my phone instead of buying a new one, meaning you will keep it and you will use it, for which bewahren cannot be used. The next verb is the separable anhalten, which means either to stop or to be stopped, as in the following example where you can see it being used twice. Sie müssen an der Ampel anhalten, Sonst werden sie von der Polizei angehalten. You have to stop at this traffic light or you will be pulled over or stopped by the police. This verb can also mean quite the opposite. To last and not stop for a while. As in the example, der Trend hält immer noch an. The trend is still ongoing. Aufhalten is our next separable verb, which means to hold somebody up or delay them. In both of the following cases. Bitte lassen Sie sich durch mich nicht aufhalten. Please don't let me hold you up. Or the next example. Es tut mir wirklich leid. Ich wurde durch den Verkehr aufgehalten. I'm so sorry. I got delayed by traffic. The verb aushalten is separable and means to withstand or endure. And the common example is as follows. Diese Klasse ist langweilig. Wie soll man das noch sechs Stunden aushalten? This class is boring. How should one withstand this for six hours more? It can also be used to say that something can hold a certain way or amount. Das Regal hält die vielen Bücher aus. The shelf holds a lot of books. The following separable verb is abhalten, which means to keep somebody. For example, lass mich dich nicht davon abhalten. Don't let me keep you from it. Or it can also mean to prevent something. Ein Damm soll die Überschwemmung abhalten. A dam should prevent the flood. Switching things up a bit, our next verb is the inseparable one, enthalten, meaning to contain or include. Zum Beispiel, der Preis enthält 19% Umsatzsteuer. The price includes 19% sales tax. It can also mean to abstain from something. As per following, ich enthalte mich jedes Jahr der Stimme. I abstain from voting each year. The following verb is einhalten, a separable verb meaning to follow or stick to something, as in these examples. Halten Sie diese Diät streng ein. Follow this diet strictly. Or this next one. Wenn ich deine Regeln einhalte, musst du mir ein Auto kaufen. If I stick to your rules, you have to buy me a car. The following verb is durchhalten, which is commonly separable and it means to persevere or not give up. Zum Beispiel, ich weiß nicht, ob der Läufer durchhält. I don't know whether the runner will persevere. It can also mean to hold on or not let go. Halt durch, ich komme gleich. Hold on, I'm coming right away. Innehalten is a separable verb, which means to catch one's breath, as in to take a break. Zum Beispiel, lass uns für einen Moment innehalten. Let us pause for a moment. 
Or as in the similar example, ich muss einen Moment innehalten und ein Glas Wasser trinken. I have to pause for a moment and drink a glass of water. A very commonly used prefix verb is erhalten, an inseparable verb which means to receive. Zum Beispiel, hast du meinen Glückwunsch erhalten? Have you received my congratulations? It can, however, also mean to preserve, usually geologically. Zum Beispiel, das Fossil von vor 10.000 Jahren wurde erhalten. The fossil from 10.000 years ago has been preserved. The next verb is the separable freihalten. And it means to keep a place for somebody, as in the two following cases. Ich halte dir einen Platz im Bus frei. I am keeping a place for you on the bus. Or as well, kann ich hier sitzen? Nein, dieser Platz ist reserviert. Ich halte ihn vor meinem Freund frei. Can I sit here? No, this place is reserved. I am keeping it for my boyfriend. Yes, another separable verb is hinhalten which means to hold something in front of somebody, usually with the intent of them taking it. Zum Beispiel, er hielt ihr das Geld hin, aber sie nahm es nicht. He held out the money in front of her, but she didn't take it. This verb can also mean to stall somebody. Sie wird ihn hinhalten, um mir etwas Zeit zu verschaffen. She will stall him to buy me some time. Hochhalten is a separable verb that means to hold something up or to raise it, as in the both examples down below. Er hielt die Fahne hoch und sagte, lass uns gehen. He raised the flag and said, let's go. Or the following, ich halte meine Hand hoch und greife nach dem Schmetterling. I raise my hand and reach for the butterfly. Our following verb is mithalten, a separable verb meaning to keep up with somebody. Zum Beispiel, er läuft so schnell, da kann ich nicht mithalten. He runs so fast that I can't keep up. Or similarly, in diesem Bereich können wenige Leute mit mir mithalten. In this field, few people can keep up with me. Wachhalten is yet another separable verb that is used both to keep memories alive. Zum Beispiel, ich werde immer die Erinnerung an unsere Kriegshelden wachhalten. I will always keep the memory of our war heroes alive. And to keep somebody awake, as per following, ich halte ihn jede Nacht wach. I keep him up every night. Stillhalten is our next separable verb, and it means to keep still. Zum Beispiel, halte still, sonst greift dich die Wespe an. Keep still, or the wasp will attack you. Or of the same meaning, Sie müssen stillhalten, wenn Sie Ihre Wunde behandeln wollen. You have to keep still if you want your wounds to be treated. Unterhalten means multiple things, and it is also separable. For one, it can mean to hold a conversation or talk. Wir haben uns lange über unsere Kinder unterhalten. We have talked about our kids for a long time. It can also mean to amuse, as per following. Sie konnte die Leute den ganzen Abend mit ihren Liedern unterhalten. She could entertain people with her songs all evening. The last meaning of unterhalten is to support. Zum Beispiel, er unterhält seine Familie alleine. He supports his family alone. An inseparable verb, verhalten, means to behave, act a certain way. Zum Beispiel, mein Sohn verhält sich unnatürlich. My son is behaving unnaturally. Vorhalten means to put something in front of you. Usually you used to say, halt dir beim Husten die Hand vor. Hold your hand in front of your mouth when you cough. But in rarer occasions, it can also mean zum Beispiel, ich hielt dir vor, ihn verletzt zu haben. Zuhalten is a separable verb that means to close or cover something. For example, the door. Halt die Tür zu. Shut the door. Or, sie hielt sich in Sets die Augen zu. Meaning she covered her eyes in horror. The last meaning is to head towards something. Zum Beispiel, die Straßenbahn hielt auf das Auto zu. The tram headed straight towards the car. 
ranhalten is a separable verb, which means to hurry oneself. Zum Beispiel, ich muss mich ranhalten. Der Test ist bereits morgen. I have to hurry up. The exam is already tomorrow. Or it can also be used as a command. Halte dich ran, wir müssen gehen. Hurry up, we need to go. Standhalten is our next separable verb. That means to endure through trials or difficulties. Zum Beispiel, der Damm hält der Flut stand. The dam can withstand the flood. Or, ich kann dieser Folterversuchung nicht mehr standhalten. I can't endure this torture, temptation anymore. Vorbehalten is a separable verb used to say that something has been reserved, usually rights, and it is commonly used in legal situations. Wir behalten uns rechtlich der Schritte vor. We reserve the rights to take legal action. Or similarly, Ihre Rechte sind vorbehalten. Your rights are reserved. Vorenthalten is yet another more formally used separable verb that means to withhold, usually used for information. For example, Diese Informationen müssen wir Ihnen vorenthalten. We have to withhold this information from you. Or similarly, Die Informationen wurden der Öffentlichkeit vorenthalten. The information was withheld from the public. Another separable verb is festhalten, meaning to hold something tight. Zum Beispiel, halte meine Hand fest, hold my hand tight. Or to give you another common example, ich hielt sie fest, als wir mit dem Motorrad führen. I held tightly onto her as we drove on a motorcycle. It can, however, also mean to restrain somebody. As in, die Polizei hielt ihn fest. The police restrained him. One of the few final verbs is the separable fernhalten, which means to keep something or somebody away, as in the following. Insektenschutzmittel halten Insekten fern. Insect repellents keep insects away. Or, sie müssen ihre Medikamente von Kindern fernhalten. You have to keep your medication far from children. And finally, you can use it to keep a person away. Zum Beispiel, halt ihn von mir fern. Keep him away from me. Zusammenhalten is another separable verb that means to hold or keep something together. It can also mean to keep together or stick together, as in the following. Wir halten zusammen, egal was kommt. We stick together, no matter what. The third to last separable verb is beibehalten, meaning to maintain something or to keep a habit. Zum Beispiel, ich behalte meine Gewohnheiten bei. I keep my habits. Or, er behält seine Haltung bei. He maintains his attitude. Our second to final verb is anbehalten, which is a separable verb used to say that you keep your clothing on. Zum Beispiel, ich behalte meinen Badenmantel an. I keep my bathrobe on. Or to give you another example, wir werden schwimmen gehen, aber behalten die Kleidung an. We will go swimming, but keep on the clothing. Our final verb is the separable herhalten, which means to serve as and it usually denotes necessity. Der Junge muss als Sündenbock herhalten. The young boy needs to serve as a scapegoat. Or to give you our final example, dieser Eimer muss vorerst als Regenbehälter herhalten. This bucket has to serve as a rain container for the time being. With that, we have reached the end of this video and I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you have any ideas on what you would like to see next, or remarks about this video, comment down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. It helps me with growing the channel. Schönen Tag noch und bis zum nächsten Mal.